Michael Bay does a movie in the 90s. Yeah, Bad Boys and the Rock. What do those movies mean to you? Yeah. And then I'm going to bring it back to you becoming a SEAL. Yeah. So Bad Boys, what that did for me was that showed me that as a, I was about 15, 14, 15 at the time, that showed me that I could be a hero and still be cool. Like, because that was the first time. Bad Boys, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, the Porsche, <laughs> the big explosion. Amy, you know, the joke. Mike Lowry. Yeah, yeah, by, directed by Michael Bay. And that film really inspired me because I remember sitting in the movie theater and I was just like, man, like, I don't have to be a drug dealer. I don't have to just be an athlete. Like, I just be like, there's more out there in the world, you know? So, that's what that film, it planted that seed that I could be something other than what society has told me I could be. And then a year later, The Rock comes out. And that's the first time I hear of and see Navy SEALs. And I see Nicholas Cage, Sean Connery. Nicholas Cage, Sean Connery, you know, uh, uh, Bo, I can't pronounce a brother's name, but Bo Cooley, Bo King, that actor with the bald head, yeah. yeah. Bo King, yeah, Ed Harris. And I seen these seals going in. Granted, they don't get killed. <laughs> the stuff that they how they went underwater and came out of the water, and they were fearless. And they were like, "Hey, let's go do our job. It is what it is." And they got that inspired. Me. That's when I was like, "I never heard of seals, but I tell you what, if I ever turn my life around, I'm going to be a seal." It was like a far fetched dream. So fast forward to when I went to that Navy recruiter. That's when I was like, "If I do this." then I'm going to fulfill that, that dream of being a seal. Yeah, because in the Bronx, I, don't, I can't recall one time I've ever seen any advertising for None. Navy SEALs. It's, you know, this None. is almost like hidden from us. I, I can't it is. any time that, yeah. you know, it was put out there that this was a real option from somebody yeah. who came up under our circumstances. Yeah, it's not. It's, it, it, honestly, there's not a lot of advertising about it. There's more advertising in, you know, suburban communities. And, you know, there's, there's more, uh, and even education, from an education standpoint, it's not taught really, it's not really taught about or talked about in the schools. I go to, urban, like, when I was still in the teams, sometimes I would get sent to go to suburban schools and, you know, they know about it because it's teachers teach about it. Yeah, these are Navy SEALs, this is Special Forces, this is an opportunity. But so I get to the schools and the kids already know about, about it. When you go to a school in the Bronx, the teachers ain't talking to the kids about that. Yeah. So it's it's just it was it, 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 it's just a bad thing. But one thing I started doing, that's why I wrote my book. Cause I was like, I want kids who come from where I came from to be able to read the story and be like, wow, SEAL. This dude who came from where I came from, he did that. I'm gone. I have the information. You know, another thing that struck me about your story and why I was like on a mission to talk yeah, to yeah. you. Last year, I yeah. just finished reading the David Goggins book. Yeah, yeah, I know David. And I was David Goggins out. Like his yeah. whole mentality, the, the yeah. he really, before him, I didn't understand maybe I just didn't even think about it. There was no reason for me to think about yeah. what it took to become a SEAL. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> so I need you for our audience because this is so inspirational. Yeah. And so much of your life coming yeah. up in the Bronx yeah. prepared you for the moment, even though yeah. you might not have been aware of it. Yeah. It was preparing you. Those hard times you were going yeah. through was preparing you for joining BUDS. First yeah. of all, tell us what does BUDS mean and then yeah. break down that program for us. So BUDS stands for Basic Underwater Demolition SEAL Training. It's the pipeline that every SEAL has to go through in order to qualify to go to the next phase of training, which is called SQT SEAL Qualification Training, which where you get your trident. Once you get your trident, you are officially a Navy SEAL. So it's, a pro, it's considered the toughest military training known to man. People have died in SEAL training. I had a dude die in my class. People have been permanently crippled from SEAL training. Men have lost everything trying to conquer SEAL training and still fail. It's hell. It's horrible. It sucks. It's, it's torture, bro. It's like, it's, it sucks. Especially 
me coming from where I come from. Now, in order to get, just getting into SEAL training is hard. In order to get into SEAL training, one, you have to score high academically, which as I said, I didn't have those scores when I checked into the Navy. So I had to go, I had to go to my first command first in order to do some things. The second thing you have to do is you have to pass a psychological screening test and you also have to pass a physical, uh, not like a medical physical where a doctor, a dive medicine, medical officer, you know, you know, checks you out to make sure you don't have any underlying issues. Because if you do, SEAL training will expose those issues and you can possibly die, especially if it's a serious issue. Um, the next thing you have to do is you have to pass a physical screening test. And that test consists of a 500-yard swim in under a certain amount of time. I think it's like 11 minutes and 30 seconds. A minimum of, of 60 push-ups, a minimum of 60 sit-ups, a minimum of uh, 10 pull-ups, and a mile and a half run in boots and pants in under 11.30. Now, you can, you, can pat, you can meet all of those scores and still not get accepted because what you have to have is competitive scores. So competitive scores is like you got to do your swim in like nine minutes. You put 100 push-ups instead of 60, 100 sit-ups, 20 pull-ups, your mile and a half run in like nine minutes. Those are called competitive scores. You have those competitive scores plus the ASVAT, plus the physical and mental screening and the interview, then you get accepted in the steel training. Now, I couldn't swim when I joined the Navy. And, that, and that's what I was about to ask you. You're a <laughs> black man from the Bronx. I'm, I'm Ain't no Bronx. way you could swim. So – we yeah. gonna, we gonna go with that as a foregone com- conclusion. Yes. But were you athletic otherwise? I was when I was in high school. I played basketball, and you know, I did the weight training class, and I, I could put on weight, and I ran around with my friends, played two hand touch football. That so I was always kind of athletic. I wasn't fat and out of shape, but when it came to swimming, I was not there. You know, and but when it came to being qualified physically for still training push ups, I was not there. You know what I mean? Like, I could barely do 20 push-ups. You know what I mean? So I was not qualified. I say this to, to everybody all the time. I was totally unqualified in every area required to be a SEAL to be a SEAL. However, that Bronx, that mom's teaching me excellence and never quit, that getting junk and still getting back up, all of that stuff was so rooted in me I looked at this massive wall and was like, yeah, it's mad high, but I can do it. <laughs> I can figure it out. And so I tell people all the time, when you have a, when you have a dream, chances are you're going to have an obstacle as it relates to that dream. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a dream. And you could do one of two things. Either A, you could say, you know what, I'm not qualified. I have these, you know, I have these obstacles. I'm going to do something else. Or B, you can do the extra, extra, extra hard work in order to overcome those obstacles, a.k.a. deficiencies, in order to achieve your dream. So that's what I did. I got to Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton. I got me an ASVAB book. I studied that book every day. I went to the gym. I made up workouts. I was gradually putting on muscle. I ran three miles to the pool, didn't have a car. I would jump in the pool in the shower and try to figure out when three miles back home. I did that every single day. I changed my work schedule. At the hospital, I would work four hours, because I worked at a military hospital, I worked four hours in the morning, have four hours off in the afternoon, trained for those four hours, came back with the night shift for four hours, and that was my day. I worked, I worked, I worked, I worked. And within a year of checking into my first command, which was Naval Hospital, Camp Pendleton, I was checking out and I had got accepted in the SEAL training. And so, you know, it took work though. It took work. And that's something that a lot of young people don't understand nowadays, you know, is you got to put in the work. So often we see the end result. Kids see the end result. They see the Michael Jordan. They see the Navy SEAL. They see you. They see the rapper. They see these people. And they, they don't understand all the years and all the time that was put into getting to that point B. So, you know, I eventually got accepted in the SEAL training and it was wild. It was a wake up call, bro. Cause it's like, there was times I was in the first day, I was like, and it's not many African Americans. I mean, if the class is like, wrong, it, 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 it about 1%? Less than 1% of the students historically has been white, have been African American. Less than 1%. So the odds students. were stacked against you just so, historically from the gate. From the gate. From the get. I mean, my first class, I started out with, we started out like 260, 250 guys. Only three of us were black. 
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.